back and we want to thank you for joining us today. We have an awesome word lined up for you today. As you know, we've been studying around the whole idea of divine health. Now, those of you that have been here with us in the house, you've been a part of that. Last week, we touched on divine health a little bit after our business sec segment. And uh, because we believe it is the will of God for us to be well. It is God's will for us to be well. And so we are embracing that, and we are believing that, and we are receiving that. Today, I have with me a guest who is no stranger to our house. He's a member of our church. It is Dr. Antonio. Dr. Antonio, welcome to today's encounter. Yes, we want to make sure your mic is set. You may want to drop it down just a little bit on your lapel. There you go. There you go. Can you hear me? Uh, switch, switch the... Uh, Test it out. Testing. Testing. I guess not. Okay, go you back there. No, no, we're going to use this. <laughs> yeah, come on up. And so while they're doing that and taking care of that, I want to um, start with a scripture. <clears throat> and the scripture is Psalms 103, verse 2 and 4. Now, this scripture is in the Amplified Bible, Psalms 103, Testing. verse 2 through 4. It says, Bless, affectionately, gratefully praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not one of his benefits. So, the Bible is saying to us that God has given us benefits. He says, forget not one of his benefits. Now, if you go and read Psalms 103 on your own, you can read the entire comprehensive list of benefits that God has provided. But listen to just a few. Who, number one, forgives every one of all your iniquities. Wow. Y'all will be shouting about that. That, that is like God has... Has, okay, y'all not ready. Y'all not ready for this. <laughs> God says, I will forgive you of all your iniquities. And the next one, he says, I will heal each one of you of all your diseases. Now, let's just give God praise for that right there. <laughs> Dr. Antonio, Welcome. You got your mic now. Yep, it's working now. <laughs> and could you tell the people a little bit about you and your background, how you got to Lake Charles, and what you're doing today in Lake Charles? Yeah, so, um, so I'm a chiropractor here in Lake Charles, and um, I've been in, uh, I was practicing in St. Louis and Florida, but, uh, but God was leading me here to, to Louisiana. My family is uh, in Shreveport and Bossier. And, uh, but for some reason, I was just tugged to the state, <laughs> uh, uh, believe it or not, from Florida. So uh, right next to the beach. However, it was just like a tugging. And what I've realized is that Louisiana is the sickest state in the country. We have more heart disease, more cancer, more diabetes than anywhere. And so like, um, I just felt like there has to be some type of change. And it has to come from someone who follows the Holy Spirit. And so, and literally, it was the Holy Spirit leading me. I've been to Lake Charles one time, and it was to wrestle in Sulphur um, in high school. And what I've, when I was looking for, when so, I was looking for a, a, a place to, to build my practice, um, I looked at Baton Rouge, I looked at New Orleans, I looked at Shreveport, I looked at all these places, but when I stepped foot in Lake Charles, I just felt like this is exactly where I was supposed to be. And so even though I wasn't familiar with the people, I didn't, I didn't know nobody <laughs> here, I just felt called here. And so when you feel called, you got to move. And so, um, and now I've been in practice here in the state of Louisiana for about almost three years next month. Amen. And so, um, and we've, I mean, we've impacted so many lives. I mean, we did the numbers uh, for last year. I got to adjust about 17,000 people. And so like um, in one year, so it's, it's just many lives. I mean, I, I have this folder of testimonies. 
people getting off their medication, people um, getting over high blood pressure, diabetes. Uh, I mean, um, uh, people, families getting reconciled, people are not getting divorced. Um, they're reconciling with their spouse. I mean, just all these testimonies. I was just looking through. I'm like, man, I, I honestly take it for granted <laughs> for the lives that are changing here in Lake Charles. And so, but we're just li- a little small part. This is just really the beginning so, of something big. So what I want to do, I want to decree that Louisiana is the healthiest state yes. in the union. Yes, yes. Because of what you're doing. Yes. And because of God leading you here and others like you, yes. that we're going to change those facts yes. and create a new fact of truth that this will be the healthiest state in our nation. Yes. Amen. Yes. Dr. Antonio, this benefit who heals each one of your disease, it goes on, who redeems your life mm-hmm. from the pit and corruption, who beautifies who dignifies, who crowns you with long, no, with loving kindness and tender mercy. But this one today that we're kind of zooming in on, which is health, God says, it is a benefit that I provide for my people. Now, we generally do not take full advantage of this benefit because we have a tendency to cater sickness and disease. We have a tendency to, I'm gonna use the word, treat sickness and disease, which which in part causes us to coexist with it as opposed to seeing ourselves healed from it or delivered from it, especially as believers, when we have a benefit that's been provided to us by God through Jesus Christ to heal all disease. Mm -hmm. So what I hear you talk about a lot is that this benefit, for example, comes with what I'm calling a self-empowering healing. Mm -hmm. Like the body was engineered, designed, and created by God to heal itself, Mm -hmm. which only requires our participation. Talk about that. Yeah, so um, honestly, that's really the reason I called my office Life by Design Chiropractic. (laughs) Our bodies were designed to heal. You're not a mistake. You're not broken. Health comes from within you. And so I always say health is an inside job. It's never an outside job. You know, how I know that is because if I cut your finger, what happens in about two or three days? It heals without you even thinking about it. It just does it. It's a miracle. You know, uh, another thing is um, when it comes to fevers, um, we're taught here in society is that once you have a fever, that is bad for you. That we have to put an anti-fever medication inside of you in order to control the fever. God built a fever inside of you in order to raise your temperature without you even thinking about it. There's a bad bacteria inside of you, so what does your body do intelligently? Without you thinking about it, it increases your temperature to a rate so it can kill that bacteria so it won't live inside of you. It's, It's a miracle, you are a miracle. I mean, it's just amazing when you think about it. Another thing is cancer. It's the, if people, it's cancer is a symptom. It is not a disease. It is a symptom. How is that? Is uh, well, a lot of people think that cancer is like, um, it, basically, cancer is a defense mechanism. Why in the world did God create something, a defense mechanism inside your body, like cancer? Your your cancer multiplies all these different types of cells because all your, bo- all your cells in your body multiply and they die. That's normal. What cancer is, it, it, it continues to multiply and it never dies. But what does our, the first thing our body does, wait a minute, what is that in your body? It continues to multiply. Let's encase it. Let's put a protection mechanism around it and let's create a tumor so it won't spread 
to your liver so it won't spread to your kidney or to your brain. That's the first thing it does. And a lot of people look at tumors and like, oh my goodness, that like, of course, yeah, you gotta get, you gotta figure out why that tumor's there, but that's a defense mechanism. The most harmful things that happen to us, honestly, it is for us, is for your protection. Your body's doing it when it comes to fever, when it comes to healing, uh, when it comes to headaches. Why? The, the question that people don't, don't ask themselves is, oh, I have a headache. Why do I have a headache? There's always a cause to it. What we're taught in society is, oh, I have a headache. Let me get this right here. Let me get this chemical so I can reduce the headache. Mm. But then the next week, the same headache comes back. Like, why is that? We never ask that because we've never been taught. It, it's like a lot of people blame, you know, my mama had headaches, my mama had uh, diabetes, my mama had high blood pressure, you know, so I'm doomed <laughs> yeah. because my mama had heart disease. I'm doomed because my mama had di uh, diabetes. And so, and we, we, we've been trained since we were little to believe that eventually you will have heart disease. Eventually, you will have diabetes. That is the biggest lie you have been told. You've been lied to. You've truly been lied to. And I'm here to tell you is that your body was designed to heal from any type of condition and disease. God did that 2,000 years ago. And we don't deserve it, but he did it. And so, and then, so it, does genetics play a role? A lot of people believe it's their genes. Research now shows that only 10% of all diseases is actually genetic. About 90% is due to your lifestyle. What does that tell you? You're in control. Dr. Antonio, now as you can see, he's a preacher too. <laughs> yeah. He's a preacher too. Yeah. But what I'm hearing when you're talking is something more than conventional medical training. Yeah. I'm also hearing another layer of insight that can only come from one place, and that is the Holy Spirit, yeah. God himself. And it's, it's what happens when you, whatever profession you're in, whatever work you do, when you allow the God in you to integrate with that gift that he has given you, it raises your gift up another level so that you're able to receive divine insight along with training, but divine insight that gives you a level of knowledge that is beyond what is conventional or traditional. Mm -hmm. Because the things you just said we're just mind blowing, mm -hmm. but nobody knows that. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just not going to walk into a, a general, a typical doctor's office and receive that kind of insight and information. You're going to get diagnosed, and you're going to receive some medication and for treatment, and you're going to come back in 30 days or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, for continual of the same but not what you just said. Yeah. And so I, I just want to highlight the importance of, of the Holy Spirit and you as a doctor, a chiropractor, allowing God to, to uh, integrate himself in your practice and in your training. What, what has been the value of you being a believer mm -hmm. who is a chiropractor? Yeah, so like, um when I got, I mean, I was going to school for pharmacy. <laughs> I was going to be a pharmacist. I was already accepted and everything. And, uh, but when God kind of, um, um, when I saw, uh, I went to a chiropractic office just out of the blue. I was wrestled in college, and I just saw the just a life change. You know, the word says, I, you're laying your hands on the sick, they shall recover. I do that every single day. You know, so as I lay my hands on the sick, they, they recover. Yes. And so it's like, I just saw a different perspective, and it aligned with the word, because I was studying the word. 
And so, and you know, I always say the greatest doctor in the world is not me. It is not your primary care. It is not the uh, a surgeon. The greatest doctor in the world lives inside of you. That's who he is. It, it, it's, it's within you. And so um, uh, somewhere along the line, we've lost faith mm. in the greatest doctor in the world, mm. which is inside of you. And so like, um, and what I've learned and I've noticed is that um, what health is, basically, you've already been healed. The Jesus did that. And so, and so our, when we get sick or we, we're diagnosed or anything, um, really the, the question should be, what is interfering with my body's ability to heal? Yeah. And I think once I found that out, it's not about the sickness, it's not about the disease, it's about the interference. The interference with health. Yes. I heard, I heard a minister say one time, you're not trying to get healed. You are you're defending your already established health. Yes. Like, like in church, example, mm -hmm. when we pray for a healing, he says, don't pray for a healing. Pray to receive your already established health mm -hmm. that's been provided by, by Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And... So, you know, whenever you say, I, I, I'm going to get healed, you're continuously kicking it out into the future. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get. You're not mm -hmm. saying I, I am. Mm -hmm. You're saying I'm going to be. And every time you do that, you push it even further away. Mm -hmm. But to receive your health and to receive your already established health and not, interf and not interfere with it. Yeah, like um, many people think, you know, like, uh, let's say they have a symptom and, you know, they come in with me for, you know, back, neck pain, whatever it is. I address them, they get healed and things like that. And they say, oh man, you healed me. You know, I'm back at work, things like that. I'm like, no, I really didn't. I mean, <laughs> I really, I really didn't heal nothing. You know, it was just, you know, I just remove whatever is interfering with your body's ability to heal. And so like everything that I teach, everything really about health and everything that the word teaches is really about removing interferences in your body to allow your body to go back to health, to heal. You know, health, what is health? It's actually in the word, <laughs> heal. You take TH out, it's heal. How is your body healing? And so when, when we're trying to regain our health, there's many people here, pe people listening right now that you're struggling with some type of health issue, whatever it is, it's like, how can you get back to health? You find out whatever's interfering, um, what it, whatever's interfering your body's ability to heal. Whether it's food, whether it's water, whether it's uh, mind, your mindset, <laughs> you know. Um, well, let's talk about that because mm -hmm. there, are, there are things. So when people say, I'm just believing God for healing, I'm believing God that I receive my health as if you have no part to play. Mm -hmm. But remember again, the healing has already been done. Yeah. So there's not anything God has to do. He has done everything he's going to do through yeah. Jesus Christ. Now it's our time to do, which is to cooperate with what he has already done. Mm -hmm. And so there are things that we can do that are what I call proactive. Uh, let me read this scripture, for example. <clears throat> In Proverbs 14 and 30, Proverbs 14 and 30, it, it says this, a calm and undisturbed mind and heart are the life and health of the body. A calm mind and an undisturbed heart mm -hmm. is the life and health of the body. Mm -hmm. But then it says, but things like envy, things like jealousy, Things like anger, wrath, or like rottenness, that's cancer, mm -hmm. like rottenness of the bones. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I read that, I can't just read the next one. I have to stop because I'm thinking, wait a minute. My body, my physical body is affected by the state of my mind. That's what Dr. Debbie refers to as soul care that the state of my mind and the state of my heart has everything to do with the health of my physical body. Mm -hmm. 
you can connect physical ailment, mm -hmm. physical sickness and disease to what's going on in your thinking, how you're processing mm -hmm. uh, certain events in your life, how you are interacting with other people. When people say, this person just really makes me sick. That's more true than you know. But you are permitting it to make you sick. You get on my nerve. <laughs> Again, that is a true statement, but it's a statement that is under your control. Mm -hmm. And you have everything to do with how much impact somebody else's behavior have on your state of mind, thus have on your health. And I believe, Dr. Antonio, that God is continuously speaking to us all the time about our health. I believe he's doing the same thing about our wealth. Mm -hmm. I believe he's doing the same thing about our state of mind in terms of wisdom. But if we don't have a calm and undisturbed mind and heart, we can't receive that guidance. We can't receive that wisdom. And that to me is where we fail. Many times we don't grasp the proactive things that we can do to stay well, spirit, soul, and body. And so, you know, like for me personally, once I embrace the fact that it's God's will for me to be well, and I embrace the fact of a stress-free life, then God, I can hear things like certain foods uh, and certain quality of foods. I can hear things like water or like don't put that white sugar in your coffee, put honey or, or another natural sweetener in your coffee. Mm -hmm. I truly believe these kinds of things have helped me over the years really make the difference in life and death for me. Mm -hmm. And it's simple, but in terms of things like body movement, exercise, or even mm -hmm. supplements for that, for that matter. Can you talk a little bit about that? Just that proactive thing and, and what some specific proactive things that we can do to improve our health. Yeah. Um, to, the, to the mind, like, <laughs> um, your mind really has a lot to do with I mean, your health, you know? Um, for example, um, there's a word that gets thrown around, especially the last two years, it's called protection. I'm doing this to protect myself. And so, um, and the Holy Spirit gave me this word this morning <laughs> when I was preparing. And, um, and but the word, the word protection seems like it's a sense of fear because when you protect yourself, what are you doing? Like I used to, I wrestled in college and I used to, in between seasons, I used to do a lot of MMA. And what, what it was, when, what we've been taught, if someone swings at me, you put your hands up to block it. And so that's a form of protection, is fear. And we have a system in our body called sympathetic nervous system. It's our fight or flight system. God designed it to protect you. And so uh, when, if somebody throws something at you um, and they're like from me to you, you're gonna go like this. So it won't hit your face or hit your eyes and things like that. That's a sense of protection. And so, um, but that's like a sense of fear. What, what are you fearing? I'm fearing somebody's gonna hit me in my face. <laughs> you know, God did not give us a spirit of fear. Yeah. But a sound mind of wisdom, of love. And so when it comes to the word protection, instead of saying, I'm going to do this to protect myself from this condition and that condition, I'm doing this to enhance my body's ability to heal, period. But when you start naming conditions, yeah. when you start naming all this, you just proclaim that. That has an effect on your body. But G that, what did Jesus die for? <laughs> Like, he's already protected. If you, if you gave your life to Christ, he's protected you fully. You're fully protected. Period. And so, like, um, because of that full protection, there, there's no, you don't have to fear anything. But you got to enhance your body's ability to heal. So, uh, words are important. If you continue to say, you know, I'm going to do this to protect it, 
your body, your mind, and your cells in your body will respond to your words. Constantly on defense. Yep, constantly. And so, and when it continues to, uh, your words, everything you speak, your cells respond. There was a study done about retirement. People who are retired and people were saying, um, hey, so what do you do? Oh, I'm retired. Hey, what do you do? I'm retired. Hey, what do you do? I'm retired. I'm retired. I'm retired. And what they found was is that their cells started retiring. Their cells started degenerating and dying. And their health went downhill because that's what they said. Your words are so, so important when it comes to your health. Try to avoid the word protection and start saying, you know, I'm doing this. I'm taking this. I'm eating this to enhance my body's ability to heal from the inside out because that's how I was created. And when we say something like we're, I'm doing this to protect myself from, yes. we've just canceled out the protection of Jesus exactly. Christ. Exactly. Right? And we're doing it ourselves. Exactly. And we were never meant to do it on our own strength, you know, which is great. <laughs> which is wonderful because then we can rely on God's strength. You know, when God said, let there be light, there was what? Light. Light. If he would have never said it, it would have never not been done. But your words are very, very powerful. And so, and when it comes to all these proactive regarding health, like the quality of food, I always say um, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. What's in your food? And so, like, have you, has anybody ever read the ingredients of, of some, when, when you go to a McDonald's? And what, what did they put on, on, on that cheeseburger, on that Happy Meal? Like, what, what, what do they make it out of? And so when we go and we go to Kroger and we look at something, do we look at ingredients? If there's things that you can't pronounce, and it's, a chem it's, it's probably not good for you. If you need a chemist... A chemical engineer to come and tell you what it means, <laughs> it's probably not good for you. You know, especially to ingest inside your body. W what is natural? You know, now they, um, the world has, um, has put natural in everything now. Everything's natural. You know, and so like, um, like and but our society has become very lazy. We're a microwave society. It's got to be done like this. And so, like, we, we don't take the time to really research or we don't take yeah. the time to really learn all these aspects. And it's affecting your health, the type of water you drink, you know, the pH levels, um, movement, exercise, you know, since, you know, since everything has been shut down and things like that, people's been in house, they haven't been moving. And so if you're not moving, you're dying. Your cells need movement. And so, like, uh, your cells you're need movement, not your moving, blood flow. If you're not moving, you're dying. Yes. That's a powerful statement. Yes. And that just, it's not with just health. I mean, it's with everything. Success. Yeah. Wealth. If you're not moving, yeah, where you're going, you're going down. And so, and, but with health, your cells need, an, every cell in your body has a vibration. It's moving. Every cell in your body has a vibration. And if that vibration is not at a certain frequency, then it begins to die. Mm. Mm. And so like, it's very, very important with exercise, some type of movement, walking, things like that, that is not just good for your heart and for your blood pressure, but it's good for your cells, it's good for your kidneys, it's good for um, your whole entire body, your muscles, things like that. And so movement is very important. Supplements, right now, um, this is a good proactive thing to do. Vitamin D, God created the sun for a reason, right? And it is, is to provide vitamin D to your skin and to your cells. If you can put the, the best supplement you can ever take in your whole entire life right now is vitamin D3. Vitamin D3, and guess what? It's free. Just go outside. Mm. You don't have to pay one thing for it. Just go outside and just receive what God's giving you. Yeah. <laughs> and it is the sun. Vitamin D3, right now in New York City... Right now, they're doing studies. They're sprinkling vitamin D. Uh, they're, they're sprinkling vitamin D in breast cancer cells, uh, cancer cells, breast cancer cells, and the breast cancer cells are dying just on vitamin D. 
Yeah. Well, God gave you outside with the sun. That's amazing. God's given you everything that you need here on this earth to heal In a previous from the inside talk, out. We were talking, you, you, you were telling me the importance of zinc and organic bone broth. Yes, just, yes, yes. We got about five minutes okay. left. Could you just kind of hit that? And I want to do one last thing yes, before yes. we finish. So, um, uh, uh, so right now, a lot of people are getting um, sick. You know, there's like a bugs going around, there's COVID going around, there's flu going around, there's everything. And so like, um, and so I should do a video of this, but um, there's things that you can do naturally that allow your body to heal from the inside out. Remember, it's not to protect you. You're already protected. It's to allow your body to heal from the inside out. Mm. And so like, what can enhance your body's ability inside out? Let's say when you're sick and things like that, people just don't know. One thing is zinc. Zinc has, um, there's been studies that have found that um, just by taking zinc, um, um, it cuts down your flu symptoms um, by like 60%, and so, which is huge. Vitamin D, of course, a vitamin C is another thing. There's been thousands and thousands of studies on vitamin C. And so, um, another thing is organic bone broth. Like, I'll tell you, when, when, I'm, not, when I'm not feeling the best, that this is what I do. <laughs> and so, like, um, and I'm not really sick often. But when I am, this is what I do. I get organic bone broth. Why back then, your grandma was telling you to drink some, eat some chicken noodle soup? It wasn't the noodles or the chicken. It was the bone broth. It was the liquid in there. And what bone broth does, that helps your gut lining. 80% of your immune system is in your gut. So one of the best things that you can do to help your immune system is heal your gut. So when you're sick, you have a gut problem. And so your immune system is just not at 100%. And so like um, I always say to heal your, 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 your gut lining, get some bone broth. Mm -hmm. When you have a fever, what do you do? Put three sweaters on. Put three sweaters on, cover, and just try to sweat it out. Increase the temperature of your body and your flu symptoms or whatever symptoms you're having, it will shorten. And your body will become stronger. And so um, organic bone broth, zinc, vitamin C, vitamin D, those are good um, keeping fluids inside your body. Okay. Um, no sugar, especially when you're, not, when you're, uh, um, when you're uh, fighting something. Uh, like uh, sugar actually is an anti-nutrient. Um, study has shown it actually de depletes your immune system and so um, if you're if you're struggling with your health right now um, sugar is probably not the best thing to continue to do every single day okay. but yeah the last thing I want to do before we we finish here is there's a scripture in Luke 17 19 and it says this he Jesus said to him him is the one man that came back of the 10 lepers that were healed, this one came back to give thanks to God for that healing. And Jesus said to him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has restored you to health. I saw that and I immediately in my mind differentiated that one man from the other nine. The other nine received a healing, but this one went back and he received a restoration of health. I, I, I just, I guess, I mean, maybe, maybe not, but for me, it spoke to me. It says, you can experience healing in your body, but you can also experience wholeness mm -hmm. which is a restoration of health and no return to that mm -hmm. sickness again this man is the exception to the other nine that received the same healing but he returned to give thanks for his healing and received in exchange a restoration of health i believe many times when we are not feeling our best we're like god help god lord you know what i need to do they go, yeah then once you feel better it's like okay i'm good you don't go back and thank God. You know, 
How about thanking him when you're, when you're just feeling great? Just being reminded of, of the short distance between health and sickness had it not been for God and what he has done through Jesus Christ. So we're walking around the house all day, you know, not all day, but very often just thanking God. We, we say to one another, we're healed, we're healthy, we're wealthy, we're wise. We're healthy, we're wealthy. We're yeah. not feeling bad at all. We're just mm -hmm. declaring we're healthy. Yeah. Wealthy and wise. Yeah. You know, and thanking God for health and for the state of health. There is the experience of healing, but there is the restoration of health. What I'm reminded of is when people go to certain, they, they may go to a meeting, they may go to a healing crusade they don't have them much anymore but in some places they do and they go for one person to lay hands on them to be healed and and there's nothing wrong with that but when you leave that conference or leave that place what do you leave with do you leave with what you need to stay restored to health or will you have to come back again next year and receive another healing and it, when the Bible says you shall lay hands, that, that doesn't exclude you laying hands on yourself mm -hmm. and receiving divine health. We believe that you have been blessed today by the word that has gone forth regarding divine health. And we know that whether you're in the house or whether you are right there, wherever you are, that God has empowered you today for a better life, better health, and for a life of his divine health working in you. I like to say divine health is sickness hits your body but can't stay on your body mm -hmm. because you're walking yeah. and living in divine health. Yeah. yeah. So let's thank Dr. Antonio for his time with us today. Come on, let's give it up.